hi i hope you're doing well welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to make this reversible seamless foam bikini bottom the sewing pattern is available to download in the description below if you like this video please make sure to share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you now write down the material you will need After you have cut your fabric, you should have two for the front and back for your main fabric and lining. Now place your bottom piece right side together and then pin at the crotch area. Repeat with the other fabric. So for your inside fabric, your lining, we need to mark around one centimeter for the hole just like this so what I did I decided to use my sewing machine and I used the zigzag because I find that would make it easier since we're doing a fong so we don't have enough space in the crotch area so I would definitely say use your sewing machine if you have one and make sure you double stitch so now for my main fabric, I'm just using my Noma Overlock serge machine. As you can see here, we have the hole, so it's pretty much done. Now pin the side seam for your main fabric and for your lining. Now stitch the side seam for both main fabric and lining. Now turn your main fabric right side together and place inside your lining right side together. So what I did here, I just like to pin on the crotch seam to make sure all the seam are matching, like the side seam. And just, just pin around the waist seam and then we're going to sew the waist seam.
now add the elastic where we just sewn I'm using my elastic attach if you're a beginner I would definitely say get one because guys is very very useful when you use the attachment in your overlock it just make your life easier I'll leave the link below where you guys can get one it's a bit expensive but I'll definitely say it's worth it so now turn your swim bottom right side out so this is the trick bit we need to sew the two back side if you just roll like this grab your lining and then wrap around and then just spin follow your back piece right side together if you just follow how i'm doing here trust me guys it's not going to be confusing so now let's sew your leg opening just pull slowly as you sew on i would say uh, when you start pulling the fabric make sure your needle is always down because that way when you pull the fabric so your stitch is not going to come out of the machine so make sure your needle is pointed down always this is a very trick but you have to be very patient guys <laughs> Now what I like to do, I like to add the elastic just straight away. I don't turn my swimwear right side out, just add the elastic because if you do this, it's going to be much easier. So just follow where you stitch earlier and then add your elastic. Now let's turn our swim bottom right side out. So we just need to do the other egg leg opening. So the part where I'm holding, where I just put the pin, that's the two sides we need to sew. Okay, just roll on the other side and then grab one piece of the back and then wrap around and then pin right side together like this. I would call this the wrapping method. <laughs> 
I know there's so many methods um, here on YouTube, but I find it is much easier. now stitch and then just pull as you go i like to start from the crotch area because that way i know as i'm sewn and i'm pulling the fabric i know my piece is going to be aligned together Now attach the elastic where we just sewn. Just keep pulling as you sewn, like slowly. And as you guys can see here, I'm not using my elastic attached foot because I think when you put it, because it hasn't got enough weight, so it makes it very difficult if you use your elastic foot here. Because we stitching a form there's no a lot of space around the crotch area that's why i would definitely recommend to use your normal overlock foot Now turn your swim bottom right side out just through that hole that we left earlier and then just pull slowly because you don't want to rip your thread and you're done. So here's the final product guys. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.